On Friday night, the MFC invaded the River Cree Resort and Casino for their latest effort, Supremacy. The 28th event was headlined by an all-Canadian light heavyweight championship match as 13-1 Ryan Jimmo faced off against Fort McMurray's favorite son, Dwayne D-Bomb Lewis. Fans expected a stand-up affair and that's exactly where the first two rounds took place as the talented Jimmo displayed solid techniques as he landed some left kicks to the liver area of Lewis who did not shy away from the striking battle. Even going into the third round, Jimmo managed to gain mount after the fight went to the ground. Lewis tried to hold on where the karate black belt administrated punishment from the top, but the Bowman MMA product suffered a massive hemorrhage that forced the ringside doctor to halt the contest. Ryan Jimmo captures the vacant 205 pound title and gets his first finish since 2009. In the night's co-feature submission, magician Drew Fickett was paired with powerful hit squad submission wrestler Matt Beach, who was a last minute replacement for the injured Antonio McKee. The 160-pound catchweight didn't last long as the 15-2 Vich forced the fight to the canvas immediately. Once there, a relaxed Fickett worked the go-go plata from his back, transitioning to the armbar. He managed to sweep Vich before fully extending the arm, which forced his opponent to submit in just 36 seconds. In an entertaining lightweight tilt, Canadian Curtis DeMarche stepped in on two weeks' notice to challenge Team Quest representative Richie Whiston. After three exciting rounds, the fight would go to the scorecards and Richie Whiston would secure the split decision victory. Thomas Denny survived trouble early as undefeated Alberta-based Sheldon Westcott controlled the wild man while the two battled on the ground. After three rounds of action, the fight was ruled a draw. In a light heavyweight contest, former 205-pound titleist Emmanuel Newton squared off against UFC veteran Rodney Wallace. The 29-year-old Wallace showcased solid work from his back as he fished for numerous submissions. Late in the second after seizing the rival's back, the hardcore kid ended things with a quick rear naked choke to capture his 14th pro victory. In the first fight on the televised portion of the card, Jiu-Jitsu specialist Tyrone Glover struggled with Robert Washington for three rounds. In a less than thrilling encounter, the deep veteran Glover was awarded the split decision victory and remains undefeated at 6-0.